This morning we're meeting a Minnesota family carrying on our state's rich history of barber shops. Did you know Minnesota was the first state to license the trade back in 1897? Within five years there were nearly 2,500 barbers across the state. And there's one shop right across from the street from the state capitol carrying on that history. The shop's newest owner, Josh Kirkpatrick, is keeping this business in the family and that's what makes him a Minnesotan to meet. Whether it's a cut or a shave. For Josh Kirkpatrick and his father Ken, Capital Barbers really is their home away from home. Came in uh, one, especially if I needed a haircut. Now Josh's kids do the same. They love coming down. Of course, my dad being here, they love hanging out with Papa. Ken owned the shop for four decades before selling it to his son. This was this is actually my third career. I had started out uh, as a radio DJ, did that for a couple years, and uh, transitioned and managed a bar for a couple years. And I think the thing I really enjoyed about bartending was being a people person, meeting a lot of people, having them come in. But I, I eventually realized that uh, the late hours and then you could smoke in bars. So it was kind of taxing, but the things I enjoyed about bartending, um, my dad did as a barber. Since taking over, Josh is using social media. Customers can now book online, something his dad never did. Well, we still offer straight razor shaves, we do facials, uh, specialize in men's haircuts, and we do have a stylist that's working with us. Ken still sticks to his paper book, even in retirement. Fridays and Mondays off, so I got long weekends. And I get just enough hair cutting on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Their motto is classic service meets modern style. And when the gavel drops, the Kirkpatrick family focuses on the task at hand. We're kind of stuck in the middle of the political world, whether we want to be or not. How do you maintain the balance? I think you just have to be yourself. You know, you try not to let your own views and opinions really get ingrained in conversations. I mean, because you never know if the person in your chair or the person in the other chair um, agrees with you or not, and it's o it's okay not to agree, but you keep a civilized barber shop just uh, knowing that you agree or disagree on many points, and you can't really take sides. The career cut highlight for Josh, a baseball player. For his dad, the list of Minnesota leaders is long. Highlight of my career was uh, having Jim Tomey as a client for a while. I got here when Wendell Anderson was governor. I did Rudy Perpich and uh, Al Qui, uh, Arnie Carlson, uh, Tim Pawlenty, uh, Jesse didn't come in, but Jesse appointed me to a couple of boards and gave me an award, which was pretty nice. And as you would expect, like father, like son. They say it's not just about the cut, but the conversation that keeps them wanting to keep the family business alive. I, I'm just such a people person. I love to meet new people, so I, I have a lot of memories of that. People. Uh, this is a great place to work. You meet everybody from the janitors to the governor. Now the shop's history goes back to 1932. It's located in the basement of the state office building, so that's across the street from the Capitol on the west side. And Ken also said that he has cut Governor Dayton's hair, just not since he's been governor. Oh, but anybody can go and get a haircut at the state office building if they want? Anybody can go. They even had a client recently who was visiting St. Paul from Ireland come in. They were just looking for a barber shop, and they were mm -hmm. staying close by, so it really is open to anyone who wants to go. Pretty cheap too, right? Yes, it's very reasonable. A haircut is $17, straight razor shave 40, or excuse me, 24, mm -hmm. and then they even offer facials anywhere from basically 20 to $45. That's not bad for the clientele that they have. You'd yeah. expect it to be a lot pricier. I love what he said about trying to keep it balanced. You never know if uh -huh. you, do you have the minority leader or the majority leader in there? You <laughs> yep. just don't know. You got to keep it, keep it cool. So you maybe talk about sports and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. The yeah. weather. Just yes. keep it the weather. Just always talk about the weather.